Hi, this is Info Puppet, and I think you're really going to love this. Creating Digital Lakes. Check out my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Alright, we have Photoshop Elements 11 open. This will work with Photoshop Elements 10 and Elements 12. This is the image we're working on. We're going to right click on it and select Duplicate Layer. And then click OK. Alright, let's move this over here. And now I'm going to click on File, A New, and Blank File. I'm going to get this all fixed up here. Now I'm going to select the Move Tool. And I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging my image over to the blank file. Now I'm selecting image and rotate and flip vertical. That's awesome. All right, let's move this up. All right, now I just click on the original image so it's activated. Now I'm going to image, resize, and canvas size. We're going to change in inches to percent. And now I just clicked on that arrow. That's going to force the image to the top when we add the height. Now I'm going to change this to 159% because that's my favorite percent. And click OK. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is don't forget you got to drag out your image to see how much height you actually have. Alright, now we're just going to left click, hold and drag the upside down image over to the original. We'll get rid of this. And this is the beginning of our digital lake. Now I'm resizing this so it fits just snug up against there. Look at that. That's just the beginning. Alright, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and go up here to the layers panel and make sure and we're going to get rid of this background copy we don't need it so all we have right now is the original image right side up and our upside down image okay so let's go ahead and select our upside down image and i'm going to go to filter distort and ocean ripple what are the odds all right now, you can adjust the ripple size here. I kind of like it at three and the ripple magnitude, which I love it, four. So let's click on okay and there's the ripples. There you go. Now, um, we have one more step that we have to do. So we're going to go ahead and click on the create a new layer button. And uh, I'm gonna select that new layer then I'm going to click on the color picker tool and I'm going to select the color there in the, in the kind of lake that we started and then I'm going to select the rectangle tool now I'm going to hide the, this uh, lake so we can easily draw the rectangle the same exact size okay we're going to bring that back on and now I'm going to take shape one and drag it so it's in between my lake layer right there and there's the uh, rectangle and then the original image is on the bottom. So lake layer on top, rectangle in the center, original on the bottom. Now we're going to select our little image with our lake. We're going to turn the opacity down to like, well, let's say uh, 74. Okay? The reason we do that is because water is never going to be the same brightness as the actual sky and the tree. So if you haven't figured it out yet, any, uh, any image with a sky can be used to create a lake. Now I just selected the eraser tool and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I put the opacity at 17 and I'm going to go ahead and start erasing. Wait, wait a minute, what's this say? This shape layer must be simplified before proceeding. Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? All right, I give up. All right, now I'm going to start erasing because I think the, there's a little bit of a, bl a, ch a blue tint on the grass and it just doesn't look right much better there you go that's the first way now you're really gonna like this check this out i'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next 
is the ripple effect. This is what I'm going to show you now. Don't go anywhere. All right. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to the history panel and I'm going backwards in history to go back to where we just had our original image and the upside down image or the digital lake. Okay, what I just did was I clicked on the upside down lake and I selected file, new, and blank file. Okay, here's our blank file. Now we're going to go up here to filter and render and fibers. There's my fibers. Now if you don't have this blue color here or the lake color, your fibers might look different. I just went to distort and zigzag. Right, and there you go. Adjusting that. Now you got pond ripples out from center, but my favorite is around center. I love it. Okay, check it out. So cool. That's a little bit too big, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the crop tool. Plus, there's no ripples in the corners, so let's go ahead and crop this. Much better. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the move tool and left click, hold, and drag. Alright, alright. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, resize this so it fits. But right now we're going to go to image, transform, and perspective. Now I'm dragging this out by the corner. I want you to understand something. This is very important because the ripples that are closest to you in the foreground have to be larger than the ripples in the background. So this looks real. All right. So I'm just, uh, okay, it's a little bit too narrow, but I'm gonna move it over and drag it out. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna go uh, back to the uh, layer and I'm going to select duplicate layer that we just created and I'm going to change this to new now if I change it to new I can uh, theme this and I'm going to call it displacement map and then select OK now I'm just going to close this and when I close it the save window will open up and I do want to save it and it's called displacement map just make sure you save it to your desktop so you can easily find it and that just asks me if I want to replace it because I've done this once before. You won't have a replace that'll show up. I just threw out the other layer. So now I just went to filter, distort, and displace. Alright, now I just clicked OK. I had those numbers at 10 and 30. I'm looking for my displacement map. There it is, and there it is! Now look, we've got some problems though. Look at the dark areas up here. So we're gonna fix that. So we'll go to File, and New, and Blank File. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drag the uh, new image. Well, let me grab the Move tool. Drag it over to the Blank File. Now we're just gonna crop that mess up on the top there so I'm gonna just crop this and there you go all right so now I'm gonna select the move tool and I'm gonna drag this over to the original image Okay, we just have our two layers. Now I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to move it up so it just, there it goes, right to the other grass and it looks awesome. Now I'm going to put a link over here, watch this, it just dimmed out. Uh, to do the same steps that we did before, click on that link if you want to go back to the blue rectangle so you can dim that out. There you go. Creating digital lakes in Photoshop Elements. Thank you so much for watching from Info Puppet.